welcome back. On to the Southeast Governors take final decision on presidency ahead of 2023 presidency election. Governor Umaya, who is the chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum, said that the region deserves fair and equal treatment. The Ebony State Governor said that the Igbo dominated region is no longer interested in any cessation. Abakalike Ebony State Governors of the Southeast Zone have asked all the political parties in the country to pick their 2023 presidential candidate from the zone. Nigerian Tribune reported that the chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum and governor of Ebony State, David Umai, made the call. Meanwhile, Ipo Black said Southeast leaders, religious and the traditional rulers, saying that they are too small to decide for Igbos. According to the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, they said that, that they cannot decide the fight of Igbos in Biafra. Southeast governors and elites, according to IPOB, are too small to decide whether Igbos should remain in Nigeria against their will. Dave Umaya, the chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum and the governor of Ebony State, had previously said that the region would not succumb to the Biafra agitation. Igbos, according to him, have put a lot of money into Nigeria, according to Umaya, in order to succumb to the Biafra agitation. IPOB, moreover, reacted by claiming that such comments have exposed Southeast governors as those tempting to destabilize the country. We are the global movement of the indigenous people of Biafra under the command and leadership of the Ebo leader, Mazen Amdekanu. IPOB, so person, a more powerful, said in a statement. Our attention has been drawn to the, the, to the disgraceful statement contributed to the governors of the Southeast in which they claimed that Igbos did not want to have Nigeria and threatened to form an anti-agitation group in the region to stop IPO. As a result of that, we would like to remain Southeast governors that they are disgraceful plan to create a new group to checkmate IPOB is doomed from the start. People have lost faith in them and no such faceless group can survive in the Southeast, just like their fetiches Ebubago security force. Meanwhile, we would like to remind the governors of the Southeast and the Igbo political elite that they report that, that they represent less than 1% of Biafran population. The remaining 99% of the population earnestly request Biafra, but the train has already left the, the station. It is unfortunate that the governors of the Southeast are completing anarchy in the region. Now we can see who is behind the region's escalating insecurity. We are keeping an eyes on them. In their dis disparate attempts to implicate uh, IPOB, Southeast governors have uh, collaborated with weak Nigerian security agents to create fake group weaken havoc across the region. Instead of forming a genuine regional security organization like uh, Amatokun, they connected the fictitious Ebubago to carry out the heritage job for them. All of this is part of uh, their fertile attempt to demonize uh, IPOB and uh, stratify the growing agitation for Biafra restoration, which they see as threatening to their political interest. All right, what happened in Imo State yesterday confirmed by my long held suspicion that the foolish and political elite and security agents are to blame for the current wave of insecurity in the southeast he said and the world is still reeling from the act in which uh, nigerian police assassinated nigerian dss as uh, unidentified uh, gunmen terrorizing innocent citizens and labeled him as ESN and IPOB members. All right, my good people, this has been a very good mishmash between that of uh, IPOB and uh, uh, Governor's Forum. All right, let me have your take from here. But meanwhile, let me have... 
all this uh, transpires when the Bonny State Governor said this, when it appeared uh, as a guest on television TV, on Channel Television, I beg your pardon, on Friday, September. And Governor Maya noted that the major yearning of the people of the Southern region is that they should be given a chance to produce Nigerian president, whether on the platform of the PDP or APC. And that of uh, IPOB have really declared and saying that they are too small to decide for the Igbos that the governor's forum or the leaders or the clergymen are too small to decide for the entire people of uh, Ibus. Meanwhile, an APC group, Southeast Mandate, has uh, appealed to President Muhammad Buhari to facilitate the process of uh, nominating a, a presidential candidate from trusted members of the party from the region ahead of the 2023 general elections. The group also urged other political parties in Nigeria to side its presidential ticket to the Southeast in the spirit of justice, equity, and good conscience. Convener of the group was uh, Senator Julius Ukche, who briefed the journalist after their recent meeting identified lack of trust talent fair, suspension and uh, prejudice as some of the factors holding the South is down in Nigeria's political equation, saying it was poisoned to resolve the trend. Okay, this is part of your comment and some other things that have been happening in South East and uh, these are many things that Umar here, the governor of uh, of uh, the governor have said and the governor Maya has said this as uh, the region as he in have interest in biafra not want to belong to fair pay play and the suitable nigerian all right and he therefore called for the integration of the zone in the affairs of this country initiating that nigeria must treat the south it fairly and equitably all right, let me have a take from here. Do remember to tap on the subscription button for more updates. Thank you and God bless you.